All right, so I think this is a really interesting topic and especially for me since I am actually a programmer and usually drag and drop like tools like WordPress don't really end up looking that great, which is why I think a lot of programmers would advocate building things out in code and not using a drag and drop like tool. However, with building websites, I think this is just not true at all. WordPress has so many different themes and customization options that you don't really need to know how to code to actually build an incredible looking website. And even if you do know how to code and write your own HTML and CSS for websites, you're really gonna be better off just starting with a pre-made WordPress theme. The reason for this is, like I said before, there are so many different themes out there for WordPress websites that you're probably gonna be able to find the exact design that you're looking for, or you're gonna be able to find something that's fairly close. And if you find something that's fairly close, then you can just add a couple of your own lines of HTML and CSS, and that will then make the website act and look exactly like you want. And really this is just a question of productivity in a sense, because even if you know how to write your own code and HTML, CSS to build your own website, it's probably going to be way faster to use WordPress and it's just going to save you a lot of time. So I've had this idea for a while now that I wanted to make a blog for myself where I can post different articles that can sort of accompany some of the videos that I make on this channel. So let's say that I make a one day build for instance, then I can make a post on my blog where I go through all the different resources that I use to create this one day build and add some links to different tutorials that I used and basically just a guide to how to do this one day build yourself. Uh, so that then you get both the video and then also some written material to go with it so that it makes it a little bit easier for you to replicate what I've done. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna build my blog essentially. And I'm just gonna show you very quickly how easily I can set up my website using WordPress it's not really a tutorial, it's just kind of to show you how simple it actually is. And before I start, I just want to mention today's sponsor, which is hostinger.com. And what they do is they provide hosting for your website. And if you don't know what that means, that essentially means that they have a server and you can rent a spot on their server for them to host your website. So for other people to be able to actually access your website and see your website, it needs to be running somewhere and Hostinger essentially provides the somewhere for your website to run. So if you go to hostinger.com slash cal and use the coupon code cal with capital letters, you will get 15% off all Hostinger plans. All right, now let's get started and let's build this thing. All right, so uh, this is now what I've ended up with. This is what the website's gonna look like. And this is gonna be my, essentially my tech blog where I will post uh, different articles on different topics. Uh, this is not actually a post that I will post. This is just an example so that you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. Because without this, it's just gonna be completely white. And I really like this layout. It's super simple, but it's still, I feel like when I, get, when I go to a site and I want to read an article or something, I want it to be extremely simple. I don't want a lot of clutter. I don't want too many images. I just want the information that I'm looking for really like easily available. So my idea is essentially I'm going to post different uh, articles on here. Uh, maybe once a week. I'm not going to commit to doing it exactly once a week, but hopefully it's going to be about once a week. Uh, I'm going to pick a day where I would post and uh, sometimes I might skip a week. I'm not going to be super strict about this, but uh, it's one of those things where I feel like it can, it can be nice to have an accompanying, an accompanying article with uh, some of the videos that I do. So if I do a tutorial or if I do a one day build, I could also add an article where I've written down uh, the different sites that I've gone to and the different tutorials that helped me build what I built. And uh, maybe that can then be a reference for you guys to actually check out and have a look at. And uh, 
basically this was super simple using Hostinger uh, to do this. You just basically get an account on here. Once you have your domain and then you buy a domain. And then once you have that, you just click manage. And then you get all these choices and what you need to do is you need to go to website you need to press web uh, auto installer and then you just need to install wordpress here which i already did and then once you've installed that you can then go to to your wordpress panel and then you get to something like this which is where you can then edit your website you can pick a theme uh, and they have several themes you can go through and uh, look at all all of the ones that they have you can also download ones off of Google. You can just Google uh, WordPress themes and you can download them and you can install them. That's what I did for mine. And I will also leave a link to that in the description uh, of this video so that you can also download that if you want. And this is why using WordPress is such a good idea because it's so simple when you want to build a website. I mean, you can do these things using HTML, CSS, and like building your own website from scratch. But really it's just gonna be a ton of work to build your website. And it's very likely that the kind of design that you're looking for already exists as a theme on WordPress because they have so many different themes. I don't know how many they have, but they have tons and tons of different themes. And for instance, the way that I was thinking about my, my website is I just want a very simple layout and I want it up and running. I want it to be super simple when I want to make a post, which is also something that's super simple using WordPress. You just go to your dashboard and then you have posts here on the side and then you can just press add new and then you can just start typing away your post and then you can publish it once you're done. And it just saves you so much time compared to actually having to code all this stuff out. Even if you're really fast at coding this stuff out, I still think that using WordPress is a really good idea. And there's tons of huge companies that use WordPress. I think New York Times use WordPress. And I mean, there's a ton of really, really big companies that use WordPress for their sites. And especially if you want to make a blog or something like that, then definitely go with WordPress. And getting this set up with hosting it was just super simple. So again, if you want to check this out, you can go to hostinger.com slash cal and then use the Q coupon code cal with capital letters and you'll get 15% off all the hostinger plans. Uh, I really recommend it. It was super simple to get my website set up and now I'm just super excited about actually starting to write some articles. I think this can be really really good and I think it can be super interesting for you guys to actually get to read a little bit more in detail how I do certain things. So hopefully you'll really enjoy it and hopefully I'll actually get to uh, posting several posts uh, a month. All right, so that is how easy it is to get a website up and running using WordPress. And like I said, the ease of use is the main reason why I suggest using WordPress. But of course this mostly works for websites that focus mostly on content, so like blogs or maybe an online shop if you wanted to start that. The main point that I wanted to get across is just that you don't have to worry about knowing how to code in order to make a really good website. And even if you do know how to code, you're probably going to be better off using WordPress anyway, because you're just going to save so much time and you can spend that time coding more important things. So I would just suggest spend your time where you get the most bang out of your buck. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.